thought I'd, um, since I was cooking while I was driving here, I didn't mention it earlier, but I thought I'd go ahead and do another cooking episode. Um, I'm actually at um, Camp Freedom 2 right now. I just come back after about a week and a half, maybe two weeks of um, not being here. The last time I was here, I was here with Romeo, the dog, and um, something was making noises, like circling the camp. So I bolted out of here with Romeo. I didn't want to become snack to whatever animal was out of here. It was a big animal. Well, I'm back at the camp right now to check it out and to finalize it, close it down. I mean, um, clean it up and stuff and prepare it because I'm opening it to not the general public, but um, people who are subscribers to this van, the, the Living in a Van channel, or members of the um, Living in a Van Facebook group. Um, you'll have to get the... Um, address of the coordinates um, directly from myself or someone else who's been to the camp. Um, we're going to allow visitors only by word of mouth and the reason for that is uh, to maintain its um, seclusion and sanctuary for as long as possible. Um, you know I think the less people who know how to get here the better even though getting here as you can see was kind of rough. Um, the other reason is um, in the past few weeks, since my revelation and stuff, and letting people know, I've been accused of all sorts of crazy stuff, and a lot of um, really mean haters and psychopaths showed up or made themselves known on the um, Living in a Van Facebook group. So um, I booted them and perma banned them from the group, so they're not allowed back there. But that doesn't prevent them from um, accessing this YouTube channel. All they have to do is make an account and watch it. So I was originally going to publish the um, location here so anyone could come here. But at this point, we're going to keep um, Camp Freedom 2's location semi-secret. It is open to um, those who want to come here who are members of the, the group or um, subscribers to this page. And I know you from your comments and stuff. And I know you're not a hater or you know someone who's going to come here just to destroy the camp. Um, because the psychopaths and stuff, they basically threatened me and, and said all sorts of stuff that I, you know, I, I like, I do not want to be anywhere near them. They are very dangerous or appear to be. So giving them the location to the camp, I'm sure they would be willing to scratch up their vehicle to get in here to destroy the camp. Anyhow, um, this is, uh, the food I'm cooking for today. I had, um, bought a whole package of, um, Italian sausage and I'm, um, currently heating it up. Um, I was cooking it while I was driving here, and I need to finish cooking it here. I'm going to run a power line to the hut and finish cooking sausages and rice. Well, I'm going to cook up some rice. And then after that, I'm going to have some, um, I mean, I'm going to save some of the sausages for later. And I'm going to have, you can see there, the spaghetti sauce on the floor there. I have some spaghetti later for lunch or something. And then head out of here and finish up. Um, I may try to camp here um, on and off, but it is actually going to be open. So those of you who are interested in coming here and don't mind um, taking the risk that you do when you come here of um, losing your bumper or um, side mirrors here, any side mirrors, and definitely getting your paint job scratched up, um, you can contact me either through um, YouTube messaging or if you're a member of the Living in a Van group, send me um, a private message. And, you know, if I feel you're safe, you're trustworthy, I will give you the location. And if you are aware of the haters and the trolls, um, whether on um, YouTube or Facebook, please don't give them the address. They will come here and destroy this. And, um, you know, I, I had planned, or my revelation had, had um, revealed to me that I was supposed to try to get actually purchased a compound or parts of it and make Camp Freedom 2 a reality of a place for vanners to park um, get a little bit of peace and safety and um, also to provide services for vanners and um, those who are down and out trying to reset their lives but um, you know my com campaign that I was my GoFundMe campaign that I tried to um, establish as a result appears to have um, fizzled out so I'm going to keep that campaign open and i um, still going to push for the cause of um, helping the homeless and the down and out, but I'll do it personally. 
um, if the campaign miraculously somehow gets spread and becomes viral and grows, then perhaps Camp Freedom 2 can become the reality that I envisioned of a place that's kind of a sanctuary for those in need, for the banners traveling through, um, for those who are down and out trying to reset their lives. Otherwise, it's going to remain a small little tiny camp like it is right now. And um, basically, it'll just be me trying to help the down and out and homeless one on one, one at a time, um, with what little resources that I currently have. 